So, okay, so we have been working on letter identification. And so I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today about the different types of letters. So you'll see that you've got the ABCs here in front of us, the entire alphabet, A through Z. However, if you notice, some letters are blue and some letters are green. So the letters that are blue are called our vowels. Okay, there's A, E, I, O, and U. Those are our vowels. The rest of the letters in green, B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z, all of these letters are called consonants. All right, so now we're going to focus just on our vowel sounds. Okay, and so I'm going to pull this onto the screen so that you guys can see this. It shows our vowels right there separately, A, E, I, O, and U. So these letters have two sounds. They have a short sound and they have a long sound. So let's look at the first vowel sound. Our first vowel is A. So A can say its own name, that's the long sound. A as in acorn, okay? A can also say the short sound, which is a, ah, like apple. Then if you look down at the next one, we've got our vowel E. E can say its own name, the long sound, as in eagle, or it can say its short sound, e, eh, as in eggs. Okay. The next one we're going to be looking at is I, and I can say its own name as an I, ice, or it can say the short sound, I, as an insect. Okay. Our next vowel that we're going to be looking at is O. So O can say its long sound or say its own name. O as an oval or it says its short sound. Ah as an octopus. And the last one is U. U can say its own name, the long sound, which is U as in ukulele or it's short sound as in uh, like umbrella. So let's review it one more time. A, short sound is a, ah, long sound is a. E, short sound is e, eh, long sound is e. I, short sound is i, long sound is i. O, short sound is ah, long sound is o, and u. U, short sound is a, uh, long sound is u. And knowing these letters, boys and girls, is really important because when we go to start reading words, these letters that make these sounds, they act kind of as the glue that holds words together. So vowels play a very important part in creating words and when we read words. So it's very important that you guys study these letters and that you know their sounds that they can make. It's going to make it all the more easier for you to read when you get to reading some words. And here soon we'll see another video where I'll practice putting some letters together and sounding it out to blend it to read words. Alright guys, so keep practicing and I'll see you again soon.